Hi there, Jamie Keith here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're gonna to do a little more 3D printing. I'm using the Robo C2 here that Brayden from Robo sent me to try it out here. And I'm using a project turning a 2D image here. I'm gonna do this Superman image here and turn it into a 3D image printing here in three different colors. So I'm gonna be using a converter online uh, to turn into an SVG and then putting into Tinkercad and tinkering it with it, showing you few things to uh, work on that this is something you could use as a lesson in uh, uh, for uh, 3d printing in your classroom or just something at home just playing with uh, anyways let's get started here today with this little turning 2d turning a 2d object to a 3d So I'm just gonna use this site, Convertio, to uh, put my take my image that I have of Superman of the logo and then convert it to SVG. I'll put the link down below. There's more than this one, but this just happened to be one I used and it worked well for it. Uh, I'm gonna click on from my computer and I have on my desktop, I should have a Superman folder here, right here. And so you can see this is the logo that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm just gonna, you can see it's gonna be converted to SVG here, and I'm gonna click convert. Only should take a few seconds to do this here. So when it's done, I can hit download. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this into a different folder here. I'm gonna just go copy and put it into my Superman folder here. Should be right there. Okay, so I'll put it in the same folder. And now, so what I'm gonna do is go over to Tinkercad. Now Tinkercad is all free. Uh, I use it, especially on Chromebooks at the school and everything uh, works well for that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm logged in with my free account. You can go make one uh, if you'd like. And then what I'm gonna do is import that SVG file I just created. So I'm gonna go hit import and I'm gonna choose the file and this is the one right here. This is the SVG file now uh, on it and I'm just gonna uh, leave it as it is and import it here. I could scale it down because it will come out uh, a little bit large but I can do this after the fact too. So when it imports, you can see how large it is. I'm just gonna click on it, hold down my shift key and shrink it uh, down in here so I can put it uh, just make it a lot smaller to work with here. So you can see now how it's kind of give, given a three-dimensional uh, feel to it here. So I'm, I'm gonna even go a little bit smaller on this one. Again, I'm holding shift to keep everything kind of the same here. All right, so I can move around on this. This is the top view. You can see it has some depth uh, to it now. If I click on it, uh, I can take this white one and I can increase how thick I want it to be. So maybe I'll move to five here. And this is something, this is one just where I lift it up on the ground and I can move it back. Uh, I'll leave it a little bit up because I'm gonna put something underneath it. So I could send this, I could uh, send it as an STL file and print it like this, but then I'd have pieces kind of by themselves and they wouldn't stick on anything. And I wanna add more color to this. So when you use change colors, I can print in layers. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put something underneath it. So uh, I'm just going to take a, a cube here and I'm just going to drag it over and I'm going to make it larger. Just drag the corner and I'll just, I'm going to make it a square, I think. So, well, no, I'll just cover it like this. So I'm going to change my view here so you can see I don't need it this thick. So I'm going to maybe make this, uh, I'll make this about, uh, I'll do, just leave it as five for now. And then one thing nice is sometimes when I print stuff, I'll go back and change stuff after and see. I'll scale it down to different sides, sizes to see how it came, came out. So now you can see kind of I have uh, this on top of the red. Let's turn this to uh, yellow here just so it looks more like the Superman logo. So I could print this, it would print, you know, on a square, um, on a square one and it would look pretty good like that. So, but I wanna add a few more colors on it. So I'm gonna do something different here. So what I want to do is cut the edges here. So I'm gonna take this uh, another box and I'm just gonna bring it to the side here and I'm gonna rotate this a little bit here. So I'm just gonna rotate this, um, which, how much should I rotate this? Let's rotate it. I'm gonna get it close and I'm gonna bring it to the side here. I can adjust uh, when I click on this again, you can see I can, uh, I'm gonna put in a certain number here. Let's see if I put a five in. Oh, we got a little closer here. I'm trying to line it up right with that line to get as close as I can with it. So when I click on this arrow here, I can uh, put it maybe if I go minus one here. 
gets a little closer. So why am I trying to do this? So what I can do with Tinkercad, now I have the layer underneath, I'm gonna turn this into a hole. And what I'm gonna do now is just take, uh, I'm gonna group these two with the hole and the red here. And I'm gonna, uh, so now if I have them both selected here, I can group them. So when I group them, it will cut away. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna jump forward, I'm gonna do this and then come back to you when I, I'm gonna go around this Superman completely. So I have it all, um, all done. And then I'm gonna add something underneath it here. So I'm down to my last cut here. I'm just gonna turn this into a, a hole, grab my other one and group them and it should be all cut around. So I do wanna add one more thing underneath it. Uh, what I wanna do, and I'm gonna group this actually together. And you're gonna notice that the color will change to one color, but that's fine. Uh, I just want, when I move this around, I wanna be able to take both those things together. So I'm gonna put this uh, cylinder on here and I am going to make it skinnier. I could choose other shapes but I'll, I'll go with a circle here. Maybe I'll go about uh, 160 by 160 here. That should be fine for my example. And I'm going to just rotate, make this a lot thinner here. I'll make this like five also or four or five. And we'll put this whoops, down here. Make sure I move it in the right place here. want everything lined here and I want to bring this one up here so I'm going to bring this one whoops I don't want to make it thicker I just want to grab that arrow right here to bring it up and I'm going to put this one on the ground so when it gets to zero here and a little bit more I could type it in but I'll just drag all right so then this one here I just want to put this one on top undo I grabbed the wrong one grab this here bring it down. You'll see when it goes in, I just want it slightly in like this. So now I'm going to center this around a little bit more, just eye it here. And that looks kind of good for what I want to do. So uh, you can see nothing's floating in there. I'm going to have uh, this. I could maybe make those a little bit thinner. Um, maybe I should have taken off the edge here, like I said uh, before, to make everything red, but I'll use this. So what I'm going to do now is just export this as an STL file. And I'm gonna just put it over here because so you can see it's right there. And then I'm gonna load it up here. I'm just gonna open up my uh, RoboCura uh, slicer and open it up and put it in there. So I'm just gonna open up the file that I just saved here, the STL. I'm gonna open it up. You can see this is my print bed size, so it's a little too large. So I'm just gonna scale this down. I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna type uh, 60 should do the trick here. Yeah, that should be good. So uh, now at this point, what I want to do is uh, just go through and I'm going to leave, actually I'm going to leave everything the same here. I could go to custom on this and set some, but I'll, I'll try it on this one. A lot of times I like to kind of change it if I was uh, printing things again, but I'm going to lead, uh, see what, how everything works on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, I'm just going to save this. And what I'm going to do actually uh, with this here, uh, is uh, put it on into the file here and then actually I better put it in the exact file that I want here so I, Superman sure and there we go and it will be turned into G code but what I'm going to do now is actually put it into my Google Drive because I actually don't have this computer set to print from here so I'm just going to use my phone here and if you're wondering you could use my I uh, take a look at the other video that I have about printing a lithophane I kind of show you the whole process of printing on the phone to the Robo C2 here so I'm going to go new and I'm just going to go file upload and here it is here the G code and now once this loads up, I'm gonna take out my phone and hit print and it's gonna be sent to the printer, which I'll do in a time lapse for you uh, right now.
Well, I have the final project, uh, product here in my hand and it turned out pretty good for just the first time through here. There's a few changes I'd probably make on it, uh, maybe with the edges uh, going around the edge. Maybe I take off that yellow line and just looking on how it printed, uh, maybe I'd go a little thicker where it's yellow just so that everything gets filled in, but it turned out pretty good for a first print here on it. Uh, maybe some on the adhesion on the bed too. It just didn't quite stick uh, stick well, but I got away with it and it didn't move around or anything like this. But like I said, this is a fun project that kids uh, like to do. They can take home this stuff after and uh, it can get them interested in 3D printing here. And one of the things I like is just the constant change and practicing with 3D printing. I like making the mistakes in it and trying to fix them and just tinkering with everything all the time. So if, uh, if you liked what you saw today, make sure you uh, try this in your classroom if you're doing some 3D printing. Uh, if you're interested in the Robo C2, I'll put it an affiliate link of mine down below uh, in the description here. But thanks for watching this week. I have more 3D printing to come. Check out my other video on the lithophane uh, printing here if you want to know how to turn a 3D uh, photo in something you can print on it. So that's all for this week and I'll see you next time.